It's uh, 11.30 in the morning, and this is the first comments. It's been just about two weeks now since I started the show, and uh, I'm learning more and more about uh, uh, being spontaneous. <laughs> well, I'm not exactly spontaneous. I do need to pause and think about things. That's where a lot of the pauses come from. I even, uh, I think a lot of what you're seeing is part of the geek personality that I am not the most sociable person in that uh, I can just sort of say something off the top of my head and not have it come out all fumbled. So that's part of the problem. Part of the pauses is, r rather than seeing cuts and edits where I've made mistakes and had to go back and correct them, and so you see something that's sort of edited together uh, without any of the mistakes in it, uh, that's not what you're seeing here. This is, as I said, raw and unedited. Uh, first comments are, in the comments like this, are always raw and unedited. I will be add adding in... I will be adding in footage uh, and video uh, that will be edited, uh, uh, sort of a montage of the day or of a particular event, uh, if I can get uh, enough footage put together. I'm still working out the bugs uh, with the cameras because they're not exactly uh, uh, video cameras. Uh, they're not even DSLR. They are essentially uh, refurbished uh, digital cameras that have the capacity to do uh, video with audio. So that's what I'm using. The only professional piece of equipment that I have is something that's left over. And again, it's, it's, it's an old piece of equipment and it's a monopod. That's what I use on the camera to sort of to get things steady and if I need to turn it around I can turn it around and get uh, individual shots of myself uh, making comments on various things so that's how everything is sort of working out here is, is that it's it, 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 things are being put together in bits and pieces it's not what you would may, may think it is that uh, that there is uh, uh, some crew behind me that something is scripted or uh, this is a, sort of a put on show. This is not that. This, this is, as I said, the first comments are the raw and unscripted. Um, Everything is being done in Linux open source. So uh, as I need to do something, I f need to sort of figure out how to get things done. And it's not always it's possible that, that you're using one piece of software. In Linux, I'm using uh, three or four pieces of software. And this is where I learn in terms of uh, getting my ideas for development as I go through these different programs and seeing what I like and what I don't like. Uh, I go through basically a type of script or a, ch uh, or a checklist to see if I'm putting something together, what has the best features? Take these features out of them, put them together, and put together a new product that has everything that I like in there. So this is sort of, as, as I'm doing the work, I'm doing the debug, I'm doing the uh, analysis, I'm doing the, uh, uh, the sort of the overview for where the software is going. You hit really, when, when you're developing software, you have to get an idea, an overall idea of what you want to do, what you want it to look like, and how you want the software to behave. And that's really the key here and that people don't really understand is that the software has behavior to it. Uh, it can uh, be very difficult where things are hidden. You can, you, you, and this is what happens on Windows, a lot of the features that where you need to do a lot of the debug, they're there but they're hidden. Some of the stuff is locked off because they don't create several versions of of a piece of software, they create one version of, of the software and then lock off sections depending on what you've paid for.
So here we go again. I'm stuck. I'm trying to cut out the ums. So instead of the ums, there's the pauses. Uh, I'm starting to become more aware of the fact that I am a geek. It, it, it seems to be a degree of a hindrance, but eh, we'll see. It's only been two weeks, so uh, and, and from my perspective, I think the feedback has been sort of positive. Uh, I'm getting an increased number of views. I'm, <laughs> I'm not in the thousands. Of views, but I am in getting into the double digits, which is more than a zero I was getting before I was doing this. So, you know, double digits is better than zero, and uh, if I can get up to triple digits, that would be better than the double digits. So, uh, we'll see. If if people can, uh, uh, you know, the more people who view this, if you like this or don't like this, you know, I don't care whether it's thumbs up or thumbs down, as long as you have some degree of an opinion on this. Uh, I'd like to see it if you can uh, do the, uh, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down. Uh, if you want to share it with your friends, you think this is uh, something that's interesting or bizarre or even uh, a comment that was Twittered to me creepy, uh, then yeah, no, no problem. Do, you know, say that even in the comments. You know, if you want to comment on something, and it doesn't matter what your opinion is. Uh, uh, as it, I, I'm aware that I'm a geek, uh, I know that I'm a geek, and at this stage, uh, I, I'm happy being who I am, so uh, comments that other people may find offensive, um, I won't necessarily find offensive. It's something that I've uh, experienced throughout most of my life, that uh, <laughs> uh, being a geek, I have a tendency to uh, not have the social graces that... Uh, an average person who had, or, or say a normal person would have, uh, I've been special all my life, you know, special. So it doesn't phase me anymore. It it just doesn't, you know, sort of get to me the way it would get to me if if it were you know or, or got to me when I was younger. So. That's about what I have to say for the first comments. Uh, today is going to be uh, a, a, a day of celebration. Yesterday was the uh, Greek New Year, uh, known as St. Basil's Day. Uh, there is a, uh, another New Year in, 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 that the Greeks celebrate if they, are, are, or if they are Orthodox Christians. They celebrate another New Year, and that, they sell that with the Jews on Yom Kippur. That's in September. Uh, and that's the uh, Church New Year. So the Church New Year is in September. Uh, this is one uh, sort of question I got about that on Facebook. Is uh, what about September 14th? Uh, I think that was the day, September 14th. Uh, the September 14th is the Church New Year. Uh, it's celebrated in 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 uh, uh, sort of coincides with the Jewish New Year because the Orthodox Church. Uh, grew out of the uh, Jewish church, uh, so it was Judaism, Christ came in, became Christianity, a lot of the uh, feasts and cycles that were in the Jewish church, uh, in the temple, uh, remained with the early Christian church, it's now sort of disappeared in the Western church, which evolved after about 1000 AD. So the church that uh, the Greeks sort of celebrated, uh, and they've kept bits and pieces of they've they've been trying to over the last few ye last few decades actually modernize and become closer to the Western Church, uh, rejecting the Eastern Church. It's the Eastern Church, Eastern Christians who are not Europeans, uh, who have a, a lot of the early Jewish tradition still embedded uh, within the Christianity. So. Um, Today, uh, we, I'm going to be uh, going to some celebrations for the, um, the Greek New Year. Uh, uh, I'm going to uh, a Greek party known as a Vasilopita. Uh, this is where everyone gathers. Uh, and because it's still within the 12 days of Christmas, uh, we will be singing Christmas carols and having Christmas festivities 
in addition to celebrating the new year. So uh, that's about it for today's comments. Uh, I will try, if I can do this, uh, do a video of the Vasilopita and then I will post the montage uh, on here uh, when I get back. All right, have a good day.